Welcome, everybody, to the big podcast with Shaq. These fellas are on one already. I can only imagine what today is going to be like. Dr. O'Neill, how you feeling? Hey, how about them boys, huh, Shaq? How about them boys? What boys? Cowboys won? No, oh, they did Mr. not. Mr. They, Mr. they lost knows. to Tampa Bay. Uh, I think they scored three points. For real? Oh, yeah. yeah. 19 your, to 3. Your quarterback got yeah, knocked out of the game. He's got to have to have hand surgery. He's going to be out for several weeks. Yeah. Dak may have to get surgery. Yeah, man. It's just bad for y'all right now, man. Yeah. <laughs> it sure is. The Bears won. The bed all day yesterday. Bears won. Oh, you're in the bed all day? Your allergies day. are acting up that bad? Yeah. How do you tell the difference between allergies and a cold? Well, it's, it usually you're not coughing and things like that with allergies. I mean, you could be sneezing, that type of stuff. Your eyes probably are running. Yeah, allergies and all that, Michelle. Yeah, I've, I have. I'm allergic to pollen. When the when the seasons change Dang. and it like makes it come up, it's I get really yeah, stuffy that's, and that's sometimes your chest can get tight when it's allergies. You know, your eyes run well, my a chest lot. Chest is tight anyway. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so here we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. okay. All right. He is the Thought Daddy champion. We got to deal with this for a year. Spicy. Yeah, where's the trophy at, Michelle? That's the worst trophy I've ever seen in my life. No, it's not. It's perfect. Yeah, it's, it's at home. I'm in a hotel room today, guys, because today's Emmy Day. And oh. so, yeah, the Emmys are, are, are tonight. They're usually on a Sunday. This year, they're on a Monday. So we're doing our show from here at the Emmy site this morning. And then we've got the big show this evening. Do you all see this ice on my neck? Like, yeah. it's, oh, well, let's look at him. I mean, listen, so, you know, I borrowed jewelry to go to the show and this is one of the things I borrowed, but I'm not sure it's going to work with my Michelle. dress tonight. Yes. Michelle, you have a podcast yes. with a hundred million listeners. Don't tell people you borrowed jewelry. Wh- why? <laughs> and most of our listeners could not afford this type of jewelry. So I know, but, what yeah, I, but I'm being relatable. Fake it till you make it, baby. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just saying this necklace Six may not visit. go with my dress. So I wanted to wear it at some point today. So I just put it on because I really, really love it. I fell in love with it when I saw it. So I'm going to have to take it back, though. So I'm sorry, Shaquille. Yes, I borrowed jewelry. I got to take this one back. It's beautiful. Listen, if I could afford it, I'd buy it. I did ask how much it was before I took it out of the jewelry. How much was it? It's probably about... It, it, listen, it's gonna sound it's gonna sound menial to him, spicy, because you know this any, man. Any like, number, any yeah. What do you drop on? What do you drop on jewelry, Shaquille? Like if you go get your chain, what do you drop on jewelry? What's a good price where you look at Jacob the jeweler and you're like, okay, right, right exactly. You got a deal. Well, first I say how much, then they say something, mm-hmm. then I say okay, how much for me? Right. It's not about it's not about what they charge. What they was it's it's, it's what I feel like paying. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So, like, if I feel like paying 30 that day, I pay 30. If I don't, I won't get it. So, the for me method. price on this is like 15. 15 what? 1,000. Bro, if you don't put that little dumbass chain back <laughs> back where you got it from, you what? better not pay 15,000 for that little dumbass chain. Well, it please. was. It, no, it, no, you're getting robbed. Stop it. I'm not buying it. <laughs> don't ever. 1,500 for that? No. No. 1500 $1,500, you need something like this. You see that? Oh, stop. Yeah, First of all, it's not that? $1,500. I mean, well, oh 15000 No, hell, <laughs> hell no. There's diamonds <laughs> all the way around. What would you pay for this? 1500 You would not 1500? pay 1500 for this. <laughs> yeah, I would. Yes, I, I would. He's trying to treat you like you got that in the middle of the mall, Michelle. He really Come is. On. He's trying to yeah, treat okay. me like, okay. honestly. Yeah, let me get that popcorn. And that, and that chain right there. Yeah, like I went to Slauson for it. Keep in mind, jury is marked up 10,000%. 10,000%? 10,000. Don't ever forget, I'm in this business. So I never lied to my brother and my sister. Wait, you're in the jewelry business now, too? Baby, you Oh, that's right, Zales. That's right. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Every business, I forgot. Yeah. Every business. Any, anybody got <laughs> office hours, Shaq, Shaq got something to do. <laughs> Shaq is my man Red from Five Heartbeats. My office hours. Are <laughs> okay, well, Shaquille says that that this necklace is is not, you know. He trying to say you got that at the gas station. To I mean, apparently all my stuff is bootleg. I mean, apparently. Let me get 20 on five <laughs> and that chain right there. And and a 20 on a mega million. You better not pay 15000 on that. 
well, I'm not going to pay fifteen thousand dollars for it because that's not in my budget. So I'm not. It is in your budget. You you work hard, but I'm just saying, with fifteen thousand, you could put a down payment on a brand new burgundy Porsche 2022, 23, a different color that no, yeah, that nobody has in LA. Just, yeah, that four is door. That yeah. Is true. Four door. Yeah, four door. Yeah, because those only the cost Yeah, those only cost the eighty six. Spoiler kit. Yeah. yeah. So if you <laughs> drop fifteen on that, minus that minus that eighty six, you only got to pay on seventy. So. Oh, okay. I'm gonna remember yeah. that. Oh, you, you can take the radio out and carry it around. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can. The Kenwood. <laughs> <laughs> Spice is silly. Spice is on one today because his bears won yesterday. Uh, man, so that's why he's on one. His bears miss, won yesterday. That's a good move, man. When the bears I win, know. man, all oh, right. Uh, my, my Cowboys. <sighs> yeah, man. It's going to be a long season for y'all. Yeah, listen, it was a fun day yesterday seeing the NFL back. Did you sit in front of the TV all day and watch football? No, it was in the bed. I told you. You got a TV in there. I know. Yeah, you got a TV in the bedroom. Yeah, but no, I don't. Do I, do I even have cable? Yeah, I have cable, but no, I, I was just chilling. I didn't start having a TV in the bedroom till my wife wanted one. Oh, really? Well, you're not supposed to because it's really supposed to, it disrupts. It di- What? What are you in for? Having a TV in the bedroom? No, I was just, uh. Oh, because you, you stopped that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want you to hear me a uh, snotty pippin in it. <laughs> well, the fu- the funny thing is, though, Shaquille, I never thought that your voice could get any deeper than it already is. And because oh, of so your allergies, now. it's <laughs> even deeper, which is wild. <laughs> you know who I sound like right now? The dude from Boys to Men. The dude from yes, Boys to do. Men. Yes, oh yes, you do. Oh, my gosh. Hey, baby. Ooh. Wait a minute. Say some more. Give me a little bit more. Hey, baby. <laughs> You're looking good in that pink, baby, with your hair all straight. We used oh. to see it in the curly, baby. <laughs> but notice how, but me and Spice, notice how you're sitting real close to the camera. You don't want us to see if your bed is messed up. <laughs> well, I didn't sleep here last night. I just got to this hotel room, so. You've been doing those Kelly Ripper activities. <laughs> actually, actually, I haven't. I wish I've been uh, doing those Kelly Ripper activities, but <laughs> I've just been sitting over here going like this. <laughs> Twiddling your thumbs. So you on Tinder, yeah. you be swiping? No, I'm scared of it. You know, me and my girlfriend, Garcelle, uh, Beauvais hung out this weekend and she was asking me about internet dating because she's thinking about getting on the apps. I'm scared of them. I really am. And listen, you know, people find love on those things. I mean, I, I've heard yeah. they do work, but I, I there's some weirdo. No, Shaquille? Uh, I forgot which podcast it was. You was bragging about your favorite show, uh, Love Island. What Remember, remember Love Spice? is you blind. Love, love, yeah, is love is blind. blind. Did you read about those two recently? Yes, I read about it because yeah, okay. you sent yeah. it to me, Smarty. Yeah, exactly. Trying yeah, to I be told smart. You so. yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't smart. I told you. Six six to nine months. All that. Oh, we're going to let no. Yeah, it's, it, listen, Love Island is not real life. Internet listen, love is not be, real life. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's, get, let's get into that real quick because, Spicy, would you, would you school this man? You've been married. How long have you and AC been married? 16. 16 years. Like, y'all are still, like, lovey with each other, right? Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah. you can be lovey and come here, baby, like, uh, you my boo. You can still be that and and it not be fake or posing or any of that. They have real traditional love. College yeah. campus. Oh, my God. Meet. I don't know. He's a Q. Yeah, he's nice. Date. NFL player. I don't know. I'm going to stick with him. Nine years. Ten years. Two babies. That's real love. Not meet somebody. Okay. Meet somebody. Oh, I do this. I do that. Hang out. Love each other. Well, fake love each other for, for two months, three months. All be in love. And then when the reality's kicking, oh, it didn't work out. She did that. She did that. Yes, they have traditional Wait, but love. Wait, no. I mean. Yes, no. And no, they have traditional love. Meet somebody on the internet and oh, duh, 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 duh. all that. Listen, you know, the water always starts out cold. But as soon as you let it sit, it gets warm. If you let it sit too long, it gets hot. If you let it sit really, really long, it evaporates. Dr. O'Neill. Got to get a Yeti, dog. Yeah, I'm just saying. What hope is there for people who don't meet in college or whatever? Because by your logic, if you don't meet early on in college, then you're doomed. It's called the let it happen mentality. 
See, okay. us old people, us old people, we've been hurt so long. We just, yeah. <laughs> and then we get that, <laughs> we like, oh my God, this is it, this is it. And then reality kicks in. Mm, it, mm. It's all over. So internet love ain't real and love island ain't real. And, and then another thing with Spice, Spice don't blast his love on, on the net. That is true. He lets it be. He lets it be. That's the person mm-hmm. that shows me love. When you when you do this and all that, I love it. Because you know what I do? I put it right on my calendar and count down. Six months is six to nine months is the average. He definitely <laughs> does nine. do that. Yeah. yeah. No, and I always get a text or a, which it says a picture and it's like six I think it's months. spitting facts right now. These are facts. Like, oh, watch so this. They, oh, wait, wait. You, you, you're co-signing this, Spice. Yeah, you don't have to be like, oh, this is my, my, my AC, my AC. We know he loves AC. You know why I know he loves AC? I agree with that. We, because we know he loves AC. You don't have to, oh, yeah. me and AC did this. Me and AC did that. And then that. I, love I that. agree with that. I agree with that. I mean, I don't, I'm I'm not the type, I, you'll never see like, until I change my last name, you'll never see like somebody like, you know, that I just feel like you got to keep some things close. Yeah. You got to no, keep some things close. Got to keep it all close. Well, you know what I'm saying. When you really love and and care about somebody and you cherish that part of it because everybody in the world wants to know everything, I do believe you got to keep that close and you don't have to let people know like what is going on. Like Mm -hmm. that's the, you're right, Shaquille. That's the first step to demise because then the outside forces want to be like, ooh, so you doing, what about, it ain't everybody's business. That's true. You know what I just realized? Social media is my new TV. Yeah. Unlimited amount of channels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, yeah. Yeah. You, know you know where to get the drama from. Yeah, yeah. You know where to get the drama from. Yeah, every morning. Yeah. Dude, so would you, right. w- would you ever then, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never no, mind. I, I would does. never. Let, I would. <laughs> I would hang out, Does but I ain't going to go all the way say? in. Yes, would I ever find an internet data person I'm going to the internet? Of course. But I'm not going to go all the way with it. Oh, you just going to dibble dabble and <laughs> see what's happening? Dibble dabble, yeah. You're going to just get some dabble. appetizers. <laughs> I, need, I need a person with their own mansion in the valley. Oh. That's what I want. <laughs> uh, hey, now. Yeah. Hey, Sit now. The hookah room. Oh, but when I go in there, I'll be like, you know, this room is the hookah room. I'm like, oh, you got a pool? Yeah, let me get a pool. Oh, oh the, 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 the pool is being fixed. The pool is in the process. <laughs> uh, spicy. So I want to pick your brain because you are our NFL aficionado here, right? Who yeah, looked yeah. good to you yesterday? Who did you think, mm, this is going to be tough? And can you even judge that on week one? No, you really can't, man. It's just whoever the best team on that particular day. Of course, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people didn't think uh, uh, Miami would beat New England, and they did. But they usually have battles anyway. But, right. you know, um, I think Washington won and then Cleveland won. And so now everybody's like, oh, everybody's trying to get their tickets to the Super Bowl, man. Yeah, it's just it's just week one. Well, my Chiefs, my Chiefs dominated yesterday. Chiefs look good. They looked Chiefs. really good yesterday. Chiefs look uh, excuse good, you. Man. What are you high oh, my God in about? Think old Patty had five <laughs> touchdowns. Look, the first one was weak. Both of y'all calm down. It's week one. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what I just Tyler. said. No, no. I'm, okay, Spice, you're right. I'm not talking about you. I'm, talking I'm, about I'm, I'm happy, man. Yeah. I'm happy to watch no, football, I'm, man. No, I'm talking about the show. What did oh, I my do? Kid. What? My, you had too much energy in your voice. Oh, my kid, this is Chiefs. They look fabulous. Oh, my kid, this is Chiefs. They look fabulous. How are you going to have that? Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys, big hat. Okay. Cowboys. Hey, listen, Cowboys might not do nothing this year, dog. We going to the playoffs. The, the Giants it. won, and they they seemed like they was about to throw a whole party out there, man. They yeah. looked like they was. They look like when Minnesota won the uh, the play in game. We have to mark this down though. September twelfth, twelve twenty Eastern time. Shaquille said the Cowboys are going to the playoffs. We're writing that one down. What playoffs? <laughs> The NFL playoffs? Yeah, NFL playoffs. <laughs> Man, cut it out, dog. Like in real Speak- life or like in a Madden or something like that? Speaking of football. Yes. I want all you people to stay off my boy, Rotimi. T.I. kind of went in too on it. Uh, I, listen, I I, I, I'm out the loop. Listen, I understand everybody went in, but he's a good brother. He really is. He good, is a good brother. brother. He's talented. Good brother. Yeah, he's very talented. He can sing. The Falcons contacted him. It ain't like he solicited him. Falcons contacted him and said, "Hey, we need we need you to do our rise up football song." 
So Is I that why they lost? <laughs> anyway, he did the song. First of all, Saints, Saints yes, fans. Right here. Right here. He, he did the song right Saints fans were stuck in line and through the Walmarts in Atlanta yesterday. They acted a fool. <laughs> yeah, they did. So he was, so he did this song big right tig. here. He even got, yeah, Big Tig and all these superstars in the video, but all the Atlanta people very upset with this. And they have a right yeah, to be upset, but it. it's not my boy Rotimi fault. So Atlanta, ease up on my boy Rotimi. Well, they wanted T.I. or they wanted, you know, well, hey, hey, the, the Falcons got all those people number because at the Super Bowl, when I was at yeah. the Super Bowl, all them people was at the Super Bowl sitting right next to me. Usher, T.I., all them people. So Falcons, don't blame Rotimi. Blame the, ah, uh-huh, ah, uh-huh. oh, no, that's a hawk. Screech, screech. Yeah, that's a fucker. Screech, screech. If you Wait gotta tell us what each one is, it's probably yeah. not a good one. Screech. Uh, uh. Wait a minute. Screech, screech. 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 That's a so, I thought yeah, impersonations was funny from Shaq, but now, like, animal impersonation? Oh my gosh. That's even better. Brian, Brian. <laughs> okay. Um, Michelle, Michelle, yes. question. Yes, sir. Because it's a sensitive <laughs> subject. What, what What's going on with Tiffany and Ari? I don't, I don't, I'm not understanding what's going on. I mean, okay. So let me break it down for you the best way that I know how. So several years ago, you guys know about Funny or Die, right? So it's this um, kind of yes. comedy house that does these really, for, for the most part, funny sketches out of the, you know, kind of most of them are out of pocket. Uh, they're a little bit edgy. So several years ago, Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish did a sketch for Funny or Die that was supposed to be through the mind of a pedophile, right? Um the sketch was not funny. The sketch was disgusting. Um, Who approved that? Well, I mean, lots of people have to approve it if it's if it's a as funny or die sketch. But everybody involved in it approved it. We're talking about the actors in it because that's who we see and that's who did the did did the um, sketch. So now um, the little boy that was in it. And I don't want to go too detailed in it. It's everywhere. And I'm sure you guys have seen it. The little boy that was in it, his mother saying, my child was scarred from this. My child was groomed for molestation by this sketch. And we want to sue. Apparently, Tiffany says that that this mother has been trying to shake her down for money for years. Um, and that she had hired several different attorneys who had dropped the case. The mother is now representing herself in court, suing again. Um, Ari hasn't said anything about it. Tiffany did release a statement saying, I get it. It was bad. She wasn't in the, the, the real meat of the sketch. She was seen like dropping the boy off, picking him up, but she did participate in the sketch. So I do think she has questions to answer about it because she was in it. Um, she released a statement saying, yeah, this was bad. It wasn't funny. Um, I know everyone has a lot of questions. I do too. There's pending litigation, so I can't say much. That's kind of where we are today. Now people are going back in Ari's history and digging up all kinds of other stuff that that he's been doing. I think I don't know to try to prove a point, but I think he has questions to answer. I honestly do. I, I, it was it really was disgusting. It, the the sketch was disgusting. There's no other way about it. wasn't funny. wasn't cute. None of it. <sighs> people need to understand, especially celebrities, that once you hit that send button. It's there forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I always try to, I always try to stop time and say, okay, if I hit the send button, will I offend some people? I don't even know why you would shoot that. Like if that came across my desk, I'd be like, man, if y'all don't get that out of my face. Exactly. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I don't ever want to see you again. How about that? Exactly. Yeah, the guy who wrote that, I, don't, I never want to see you again. Yeah. Are you out your mind? So, yeah. Thank you for clarifying that up, Miss Turner. Yeah, he, I appreciate you asking, Mr. O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, because I know you're in this business, and when gossip comes around, and. Oh, the sale keep her ear to the street. Yeah, yes, yeah, she does. So, I, I know when this stuff comes around, I know you. <laughs> You've won uh, uh, several Emmys talking about stuff like this, so we wanted to, you know. I always got to check with Michelle first, man, before you do anything. Hey, Shaquille, uh, 2016 was your Hall of Fame induction for the NBA, correct? Yes. What do you remember about that day? Because we have a new Hall of Fame class. 
in the NBA? What do you remember about I, your day? I, honestly, mm-hmm. like since we're best friends, it was a it was a sad day before it was joyous. Hmm. Because the guy Why? that told because the guy that told me I was going to be there couldn't be there. Mm. Oh, your the, pop, the, the dude. Yeah, the dude who wasn't even my biological mm-hmm. took me in. Raised me and was telling me from nine, ten years old, I'm gonna make you the best big man ever. Mm-hmm. I'm sure a lot of I'm sure a lot of fathers say that to their sons. And my dad was really hard on me, which I loved, which I needed, because I was a was already a low level juvenile delinquent when he opened his arms to me and then mm-hmm. turned into a medium. Before I can get high level, he put that put that military whip on me, got me on a track, got me playing. And uh, when did he come into your life, Shaq? What age? Two years old. Two? Yeah, when I was two, but I was bad. I was. I hear stories about how bad I was. Stories like that, because, you know, my youngest son, Shakir, my mom used mm-hmm. to always say, that's your twin. He was bad in two. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know, he was bad to everybody else, but he was like, you know, funny to me. Like, you know, he'd take the burger, and then, like, if he'd take a bite, if it wasn't good, he'd be like, ah, like, he just, you know, be crazy. <laughs> and so, but I could, I, I, I can remember a story, Spice, 10 years old. Like, my dad told me this, this BS hook shot off the glass. That's the first thing he taught me. Yeah, Kareem <laughs> off the glass. So I can remember we were playing 10 years old. We were beating this team, I want to say, like, 70 to 2. And this one parent just got mad, came and grabbed his son. And I remember this, Spice. He said, if this kid is 10, he's going to be the best He's gonna be the best big man in the NBA ever. And my dad, see, see, see what I told you? So the fact that he wasn't there. It was kind of saddening, but everybody else is there. Mother, Latifa, Jamal, Uncle Bert, Mingo, uh, my, my high school coach, Ford McMurtry, who gave me a chance after I got cut my freshman and sophomore year. He gave me a chance to, to shine out on, on, on JV. Uh, my boys, everybody was there. Max, Scoop, Mafia, Jerome, Mike, Colin, Perry. So Cynthia was there. It was, it was a great day. And I, I think I gave a pretty good speech, but I would have liked the man. Philip Arthur Harrison to be there because he's the one who got me into the sport, taught me how to play, taught me how to think, taught me how to dominate, and taught me how to never settle. So, because listen, after that first ring, I was going to be like, oh, hey, I'm good. I got one. But he just, hey, bring that ring home and give me another. One. And you know, when right. you respect your parents and they tell you to do something, you, you do it. Yeah. Well, we have to send congratulations out to Tim Hardaway, to Manu Ginobili. To your former coach, Dale Harris. Oh, Dale got it? Yes, inducted. My girl, Swin Cash. Come on, Swin. Oh, Swin in that thing? I just have the biggest crush on Swin Cash. She's the bomb. Swin she's Taylor. Bomb. That's my Gorgeous, homie. talented, and now she's running the Pelicans. Like, she's, she's amazing. Yep. She's amazing. Did Dale Harris say my name? Well, I didn't hear a speech, but I can research oh. and see if he said your name. I'm not really sure. Do you, would, do you think he said your name? <laughs> He better have said my name. <laughs> what you mean? Why do you think he in there? <laughs> Duh. That's hilarious. Um, you know what surprised me more than anything, and I and I hate that I was thinking about this and not really thinking about the inductees. Tim Duncan look like the he's like completely rosted out and just chill. Yes. And like he went to the Virgin Islands. He went to St. Croix and said, forget y'all. I'm going to have my, look at him. Come on. No, <laughs> no, he, you know, it's crazy. I was there, I think two couple of years ago and mm-hmm. I seen him and I seen his beautiful wife and two daughters and they were tall. I'm, I looked at him. I was like, I didn't, I didn't know you were married with kids. <laughs> like, like he was, he's, he's one of the, more enigmatic superstars. Yeah, he retired NBA, and know? just broke. Like he didn't. Uh, um, right to see, see his wife there on the, on the left, but he had two oh, tall yeah. daughters. And I said, "Bro, you know I got daughters." He's like, "Yes, yeah, I know you got kids." It was, you know, it was just uh, amazing to see him. But I'm I'm happy for him. I'm happy for Manu. Manu definitely deserved to be there. So does Tim Hardaway yeah. and, and Dale Harris. So congratulations to to all the guys. Manu got um he got really emotional during his speech. It was really nice talking about <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> stop it. It was nice. He was talking about oh, the things that Pop, that coach Pop taught him on the field but I mean on the court but really off the court. And that made him emotional talking about how coach 
Coach Popovich made him into a better man. So I thought that was very sweet. Yes, we have emotions. We out here with feelings, Dr. O'Neill. World players like Spice and myself don't be crying. There's no crying in basketball. Whatever. Spice, when the last <laughs> time you cried? Oh, man. I don't know. Uh, probably uh, over the summer. See? There you go. Over the summer. There you go. Why? Why? Because you look at that light bill with that big ass match and you got to pay for <laughs> <in> Chicago. <laughs> No, nah, man, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real, man. I'm just answering the question. See, uh, there we go. He had a moment. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a moment I had with my son. It was a moment I had with my son. I love that, Spicy. That's, hold on, but that's not a cry. That's like a proud <sighs> holding it in and you can't hold it in. And see, man, I'm glad you started listening to me, son. Now you like a star. That, that, that's not a cry. That's just a, that's just a release. A cry to me, ah, we don't do that. So there's different levels of oh, crime, but we don't do it. The, definitely oh, need to get it released there. Cause yeah. I ain't want to be like, oh boy, I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> the only cry I do is like a mad cry. Like I want to kill you, but I can't cry. Like, <sighs> like oh, those well, yes, I cry. I let it out. I cry when I feel like I need to cry. Yeah, I we, cry. we know. <laughs> oh, stop it. Anyway. Um, okay. Well, do we know no. this? Do we know whose team the Lakers are going to be this year? Because Pat Beverly says they're his team. <laughs> man, you can't listen to Pat, man. Don't do not do that. Stop. <laughs> That's what the man said. They're they asked him. I made the playoffs this year. They didn't. That's a difference. That man said, they asked him, <laughs> how does he feel to be playing with LeBron and AD? He said, they're playing with me. I'm not playing with them. I made the playoffs last year. They didn't. Now, Pat, <laughs> you made the play-in game and you cried. and ju- Now, he cried, Shaquille. Jumped on the table. Did a whole, <laughs> like, rrr, rrr, Stay off rrr, my boy, Pat. Rrr. I'm uh, just saying. I, I got nothing bad to say about Pat. You know why? Well, I do. He played a game like it's supposed to be played. Does he? He plays yeah, it he like it's supposed game. to be well, played? Well, he played the game like it's supposed to be played. Not these dudes making 200, 300 million and can't play at all. And then when they get traded, you're up to them, oh, Shaq hating Shaq, no what the hell he talking about. That's why both they ass up out of there. Yeah, remember that? Okay. Utah fans? Yeah, remember <laughs> that? Yeah. Thought I forgot? Oh, yeah, Shaq. Yeah, I wasn't hating. Your organization is hating. That's why both they ass up out of there because I know what the hell I'm talking about. I can look at the guy and see when he can play. I can look at Shaq, the guy and see when he can play. Shaq is going after the whole fan bases now, man. Are you on Utah? <laughs> He's got to go to the All-Star game. I don't know why he's doing this. You got to go to Utah in a few months, sir. And? And? <laughs> A-N-D dot motherfucking com. I that and, oh. I that I, listen, I'm going to be in the room anyway because I ain't got no <laughs> damn hookah bar. So they ain't going to see me anyway. <laughs> they ain't going to see me. Smoking hookah is illegal in Utah. Thanks. There we Utah. go. It's about to happen. Yeah. Somebody about yeah. to open about up to a hookah happen. bar. Yeah. And you, it's yeah, about thanks. to happen. If you open up a hookah bar in Utah, I'll be there. Shaquille, <laughs> maybe they can get a pop-up hookah for you for that weekend. Maybe that's what they can do. Oh, for sure. um, oh the hookah will be there. Don't, don't you worry about it. <laughs> honestly, I do want to know, though, what do you think What do you think LeBron thought of Pat saying that? What do you think? I don't think they take what Pat says seriously. Let me tell you about LeBron from personal experience. LeBron is the mm-hmm. funniest dude in the league. Oh, he's okay. He's real funny. Yeah, LeBron does a great job of keeping really? his guys. Lo- oh, yeah. He does a great job of keeping his guys loose in the locker room by leading them. Definitely mm-hmm. leading by example. But listen, you want a guy like that on the team. Like a guy like that, you don't tamper with. I played with a guy like that named GP. GP used to come in talking crazy. You think we're going to say something back? Nope. Because you know why? He's going to do that on the court. You know what that helps you do? Win your fourth championship. You okay. got a guy like that, you know, white chocolate come dribbling 150 times. We're not going to say, hey, man, just call a play. Nope. You know why? It's going to bring the crowd into the game. And I know when I run on the wing, he'll give me a funky pass. ESP ain't going to show it 100 times. Dennis Rodman comes in. Now nah, I'm not practicing today. You know, shows up late for the, you know, pregame meeting, eating chicken and rice, and then, you know, gives you 27 rebound, doesn't take a shower, go to the club and got women that look like you, Michelle. So sometimes when you have a guy like that, you leave him alone and let they do what they do. We know Pat Beverly going to do what he do. And okay. the Lakers, Lakers need a guy like that. L.A. going to love Pat Beverly. Watch. They are. They All right. Love the man said what he said, Spicy. Yeah. He's saying it but, with his know, chest yeah. today. It's a congested yeah, yeah, chest, but he's saying it with his chest. <laughs> <laughs> <You know. laughs> 
It's a well-rounded chest. That's what it is. You see that's uh, uh, <laughs> Okay. Well, listen, we're going to go and take that well-rounded chest to have a break. And we're going to come back on the other side with that spicy. Y'all been Wait. spicy all day today, so I don't Wait. even know what spice has got. Watch yes. this. Watch this spice. I'm looking at you and what 80s movie am, am I thinking about? I'll give you a matter of fact, I'll give you half. I already know. You can stop right there. What? Pretty in pink. What? No. Nope. Pretty in pink. No. Pink Panther. Do 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 do. That wasn't an eighties movie, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> but but hold on, but, but but actually, you know what? You did get it right, but you didn't let me finish. I was getting ready to say if you get the ass, I was gonna pay half of your necklace, but you told me to stop. Right, Spice? <laughs> did this you tell me to stop, Spice? She did, but you right. are pretty in pink. You you look really nice in pink. Don't don't ever wear this shirt again. Let me shut my mouth. Look okay. good over there, Bobo. Okay, boo boo, thank you. We'll be back on the other side with that spicy boo boo. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody, on the big podcast with Shaq. I have a quick question before we get to that spicy. Do y'all remember two weeks ago when y'all got in my stuff asking why women take so long to get ready uh, when you're trying yeah. to go somewhere? We ain't, we ain't gonna never get a straight answer. Y'all had all that mess. Talk, you was talking all that mess. Um, okay, here's my question then. If you guys say women don't have to do all that and we don't have to look like, uh, you know, supermodels when we walk out the door with you. Why do y'all have a problem when we want to wear our bonnets at home or we want to wrap our hair at night? Why is it always, oh man, you walk around here in a house coat and da 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 What's the problem? If y'all don't want us to put makeup on and stuff when we go out the house, why we got to do it when we I think at my home? video froze, huh? <laughs> Shut up, Spike. <laughs> 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 See, Shaq froze not, too. We froze. Whatever. No, I'm just. That's my. That's my question. Y'all get mad if a woman got her big drawers on at home, but you don't want her to wear her thong outside the house. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> me and Spice don't date people that wear big drawers. <laughs> Anything you say, fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> Do you have to wear your bonnet every day? No. Okay, so if you don't wear it every day, we don't complain. We ain't tripping. Oh, so just if you don't wear it every day. And then if the only time you're supposed to have it on is when it's time to go to bed, right? Yeah. We, we That's don't it. mind that. Or, Nichelle, switch it up. Don't wear that yeah. same robe. 365 days. Don't in a row. Just switch it don't talk up about my purple sometime. Robe. Don't talk about my purple robe. You're supposed to be white, not dingy white. <laughs> not dingy white. Get your ass some OxyClean. No. Yeah, yeah, that's all. You got lint balls on it, man, and all type of sulfur eight. And, oh, uh, man, switch it Real up, complaint. man. You got the blue magic remnants on it. <laughs> We want y'all to be at y'all best. I'm just asking because it's like, we don't want you to get all gussied up when you leave the house. But when you're at home, like, you know. No, see. I, I'm with you. I want to be, love, I listen. We love how you tried to flip it. Did you see how that special you did? It's not that we don't want you to get all gussied up. Just don't take two hours. When we tell you that yeah. we can advance, hey, babe, we leave it at seven. We got to go to this Hall of Fame event. And you want to yeah. get ready at, at 6.15 and then... Yeah. 20 minutes over here and then 20 minutes over here and then 20 minutes over here. And okay. Do this. The same move with your hair. But how about yeah. when you Ready? say Hold at 645, on, day of, we got to be there at 7. That's the issue. Well, well that means your ass got 15 minutes. <laughs> that's what, that's <laughs> what you messed up. Minutes. That way you say the wrong time. Spicy, we're never going to get to the crux of this. This is going to be <laughs> the forever conversation between men and women till the end of times. When I say we're going to Manhattan Beach at 2, we're going to the beach at 2, not 2.15, so we can be stuck in traffic going through the valley. <laughs> there we go. All right, Spicy, what you got? This this ain't even spicy. I just, I just want to say shout out to the GOAT. When I say the GOAT, y'all know I'm talking Serena. about Serena. There we go. The, the GOAT, yep. man. This shout out to the goat, man. That's it. I mean, dog. look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She won a hundred million in prize money. Damn, bro. 
She she's the best, man. Anybody that make Tiger celebrate like that, you see Tiger yeah. Woods there. Like, Tiger yeah. did his championship fist pump for her. Exactly. Like, Tiger was in it, dog. Yeah, like a, that's crazy, man. She's a beast. Straight really beast, is. man. Straight she really beast, is. Dog. And I like I hope she's not done. I I don't usually love when people say I'm gonna step away and then they don't. But you I think she really she's really done. done. Yeah, she's done. You think so? Hey, you you done thought about coming back a couple of times, right? No, I did not. You, I mean, once you me, were done, you were done? All right, let, let me clarify done and, and Spice, you would know this. Done means that you don't have it like you used to have it. And mm-hmm. that's because of father time. Like, no, in her prime, nobody could beat her. And, and you know, right. she's gone, gone longer than most people. But the prime, the prime runs out for all of us. Uh, and eventually it may run out for LeBron one day. He's like a he's like a unicorn, like the prime hasn't yeah. run out for him. But the league is much softer now too then. So but but anyway, back to uh, uh, Serena. She's not the same Serena. And it's not No. That she so, you know, she she can still compete, but I I saw it on her face a couple of times where she could have win and got it to the left and got it to the right, but you know, sometimes you, you just can't do it. So you know, for me to come back now and average 10 points, that's not Shaq. Right. She killed right. Nils out there, but that's not the Shaq that y'all know. Knees right. up, dunking on, moving the backboard. So, and then what else does she have to accomplish? What is one more Grand Slam title going to do? Well, it's going to give Nothing. her the all-time title lead. She'll be the all-time title leader. So is she tied now? I believe so. I got to look that up. Don't don't take that as 100%, but I believe she's... Okay, well in, well, in that sense, if she wants to get that record, I'd say come back and get it. But if she has nothing else to prove, I would just stay with her lovely children and her husband and just, you know, you know, be one of those legends that live forever, no matter what. Because listen, if she does come back and lose this, she's still going to be a legend. She did say, and... Um... This, this is a tough thing because it's something that women have to deal with. Men don't have to deal with it, especially female athletes. She wants to have another baby. And mm. she didn't think it was fair to try to, to be trying to have another baby and trying to train hardest, you know, put your body through training. But yeah, your body a as a woman has to, has to rest yeah. and be, you know, whole to have a baby. So yeah. she really wants to, her and her husband really want another baby. So she felt like she needed to step away and focus on that, make that a priority, make her family a priority, which I think is so admirable. But it sucks that as a woman, we have to make those decisions. And what's bigger than being the greatest? I mean, the best, is she the best mama? No, no, I'm just saying nothing. She's already the greatest. Yeah. So, yeah. Serena, you go have yourself two or three babies. We love you. We miss you. And thank you for the ride. Thank you for the journey. If you come back, we're with you. If you don't, we're with you. We love you. But you ain't got nothing to prove, mama. You're already the greatest. There's, there's nothing bigger than the greatest. What is she? The greatest star if she come back? She's the greatest. <laughs> the greatest. Dis- dis- well, you know you like yeah. to create those words. So go yeah, right ahead. Right. Yeah, yeah. She's already the I'm- GOAT. Spice came on this thing and said, it's Dave and Spicy. We're talking about the GOAT. So, Serena, you go going to get you two, three more babies, boo-boo. Uncle Shag going to be there on Christmas. Uh-oh. Come on. <laughs> He might give her the, the necklace that he told me that cost him. <laughs> hey, Shaq, I'm glad you said nothing else to prove, which is Uh-oh. why I'm going to talk about this. These, these these are a lot of athletes that have nothing else to prove. So why are they boxing now? Did you see your man, Adrian Peterson, Box Le'Veon Bell. They they had a boxing match, and this was the fifth round right here. He fakes a punch here, bam, boom, the real punch. Okay, and I want to I want to give both these brothers props. They look real good for sure. They they, they, they look, look good. good they, they no question. Shape. They look good. And the boxing for match. Boxing? Well, hold on. The boxing match look look like a real boxing match. Swaggy P. I don't know what the hell Swaggy P is doing. <laughs> I don't know what the hell Swaggy P is doing, but this right here, they look, they, they look good. They represent the sport, but hey, Le'Veon Bell got them hands. What, swag, on, what, this, yeah, what, what is he doing, spin, right what, what is what's happening? What's going on right there, Shaq? Oh. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> First, what's going on with the hair, man? Is that one of the Golden yeah, Lords from Media know. Man? Yeah, it's just, Media you know, it's Man. Just, it's just, you know, grab and hold. But hey, I, I don't know. 
Can I ask a question? Because I'm glad y'all are coming around to my way of thinking because you guys created this. Spice and Shaquille created this monster. Y'all was all for this mess. All for what? Retired athletes getting in the ring and being silly, acting like they don't have no damn sense. (laughs) Being silly. (laughs) Right. People people like to see train wrecks. This is nothing but a train wreck. This is nothing but a train wreck. Sit down. (laughs) Sit down. (laughs) Sit (laughs) down. Uh, Shaq, what do you call a spin it. move in a, in, a, in a boxing match? What do you, what do you call that? What, what would you call Swaggy P's spin move inside of the boxing ring? Muhammad all hell no. Nah. <laughs> that was a Muhammad pirouette. Hell, that was not a nah. swim move. That was a pirouette. <laughs> oh, Leon <man>. stinks. That's, <laughs> that's Leon stinks. <laughs> Leon stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Evander Holy Chill, man. Don't do that, dude. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Jeez. Goodness Wait a gracious, minute. man. This, this fool said a man of Evander Holy Chill, man. <laughs> I, got a, I have lashes and makeup hey, on. Stop. But hold on. The basketball players, y'all are like two and two right now. Oh, we are? Y'all two and two. Lamar, Odom, he won his match. Against who? Justin Justin Bieber? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he fought uh, uh, Howard Beach Shaq. He won? Oh, yeah. A- a- Aaron the Carter. Aaron Carter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you counting that, Spice? <laughs> hey, man, Leon a win is a Dinks. win, man. You step Leon in that Dinks. ring, man, it count, dog. Y'all two and two <laughs> right now, man. Two and two. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Shaq, but you you wouldn't do it again, all right? Like you did, who is it? Oscar, you fought? No, I fought Oscar and I fought Sugar Shane. A real match. You can look it up. Oh, I didn't know you, you did? fought Sugar Shane too. Yeah, oh yeah. Look it up. Hey, do y'all know that I got in the ring last week? Stop playing. You who? I did. I, I didn't fight, I wrestled. The wow women of wrestling for no, a segment on ET. Yes, I did. No, you did. Where is the footage? Right. That's I'll what show I'm talking you. About. Go ahead, Spice. Nah, nah. nah you got you got no, that personal no, no, joint. No, nah. no, no, no. I was running back and forth in the ring, doing the rope, doing the, the up against the rope. I was doing like you, you jump rolls. off the top turnbuckle. I was. We were we were like this. We were going round in the ring. Last time we saw you running, you was in the Bahamas with your little bikini on playing oh, football. Oh, here with, we with go. Yeah, player. talking about Slay Watch. Yeah, yeah. Slay Watch. Yeah, yeah, remember that? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> that was work. I was playing beach football with football. Tarzan uh, Davis yes. from, <laughs> from yeah. Top Gun Maverick, and that yeah, was I'm work. Sure he had a lot of questions he was asking you. <laughs> mm, top Gun. <laughs> pew, you pew. got any more spicy? You got pew, any more? Pew, pew. No, nah, we talking pew. about you. Don't try to put it on. We talking about you running around acting like you on Slay Watch. Hey now, <laughs> pew, I'm pew, trying pew, to get big fine. Down. Okay, I'm 47. <laughs> I'm trying to be 40 great. Okay, I'm dang, 47. Damn, dang. damn, you old. You old dang. Yeah, I like the way she do that right there, right there. <laughs> 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 do that move again. <laughs> Do it again. I like it when you do, do that right there. Do it with the face. All right, listen, we're going to go. We're going to come right back because remember last week, or actually two weeks ago since we were off because Shaquille was parts unknown. Um, we're going to play a game. Remember I told you guys I want to play the uh, big right. Shaq, so Shaq right, could cheat right, again. Finish the lyric. Who's up in the game? So, well, you're up because up you're up. What's the score? It's Bogus. two zero. Spice has the internet after us because he has made this conspiracy theory that I cheat for you. And so oh, now people are coming for me on the internet saying Word. that I'm rigging the games and I'm cheating for you so you'll win. Uh, Spice put yeah. this in these people's heads. Uh, what? I didn't listen, man. People you just did. telling the truth. They're just telling the how a T.I. Let's is. go and let's come back. You have a fair chance this time, Spicy. I have this the time, game. Not the yes. other time. And I will explain it when we come back. We're going to go and come right back on the big podcast with Shaq. Welcome back, everybody, on the big podcast with Shaq. Before we get to our game, Shaquille, can I just say um, publicly a thank you to you? for um, your episode of Secret Celebrity Renovation where you redid your Uncle Roy's house. It was an amazing episode. Do we get good ratings? 
great ratings. It was an amazing episode. Everyone was saying this was the best episode we've done so far. It was so good. Um, Uncle Roy was Whoa, so you owe me, excited. Uh, you owe me an apology because I, I know I gave Why? you a day short. Remember how you was complaining? You can't. You stop. Uh, remember? Yeah, remember that? I, I was supposed to give you three days. No, you were giving me hell. Spice, Shaquille gave me hell during this shoot, <laughs> Spice, okay? He gave right, me hell. Because like, Spice, I like to say how long. Oh, a couple hours, Spice. We're using that thing 11 to 11. So, so the next <laughs> day, I'm cut things short. <laughs> Spice. Not. So, the next day, I'm like, hey, we're not doing this today. You have to, please. No, you have to. Another guy that was in the NBA stood me up for a whole day and we lost a whole production day. That's <laughs> oh why I'm not standing Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said, listen, oh I'm, I'm going to oh make this God. the best show ever. Okay, continue. This this is what? This is what? I, it the was best the what? best show ever. Thank you, Shaquille. I, I Thank you, Shaquille. <laughs> you were right in a lot of instances. Uh, it was really, really good. It was well, really good. You. Uncle Roy is so happy. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is that he's that happy is. and his house looks fantastic. All right. So here's the game. So the big lyric finisher. So what I'm going to do is play the beginning of a song, beginning of a lyric of a song. And you all have to finish the lyric of that song. So it's pretty much like finish the sentence. Okay. So for Dude. example, if I said, if I, if I played uh, like MC light roughneck and I said, gotta who, and then you guys would say the end would be gotta have a what, right? Gotcha. Gotta have a roughneck. Okay. Right. Got so, it. Okay. okay. This list is the list of my favorite songs. So oh. you, it's <laughs> we ain't gonna get none of these. Chad. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. These are my favorite songs, but they're songs that everybody knows. So you guys have a great chance. Got it. Let's do it. No, it's no, it's not. Yes, it Let's is. Go. Okay. All right. You ready? The first yep. one. The first song is Garth Brooks' "Friends in Low Places." Okay. Here we go. Let's play the beginning of the song. And what's the end of it? Where the whiskey drowns and beer chases my blues away. I know about this one. I'm a DJ. <laughs> that is DJ true. Diesel, baby. <laughs> DJ man, Diesel. Look, look at his glasses, Michelle. They're in what his glasses. Mean? What you mean they're in is my he glasses? On Shazam? What you looking at? Is chases my, my blues away. You on your phone, man. I'm not on my phone, man. You a liar. No. <laughs> Bro, you know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at Tums. I got heartburn. What the hell are you talking about? Spike? Do you really? Did you really know Garth Brooks? Yes, no. I'm a DJ. No. Listen, every everybody know DJ Diesel is, is a master of the white guy classics. Cut it out. I will say though, Spicy, everybody does. Like whenever that song yeah. comes on anywhere, everyone knows at least that line. Come on now. Not in Detroit, they don't. <laughs> Yes, they do. Garth Brooks. We would never play that in Detroit. <laughs> yes, he would. Yes, he would. All right. It was Spice. You got to come with this when she kills up one. All right. Here's song number two is Scenario. Ayo, Bono Zip. And Bono Zip. And Bono Zip. But Bono no Jack. But Bono Jack. Because Bono can't rap. But what do you yeah, know? Shaquille yeah, no, was first. Shaquille was first. Yeah, you can't and rap. Bono but that. the song yeah. is still going. Yeah, yes, 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 you can. Yes, you can. No, you can. <laughs> you got to wait till the lyric no. is being said. No. Nah, like you nah, saying the same I'm, thing he's saying. I'm on your yeah, I'm on your ass and y'all talking about I'm cheating. I'm on everybody ass today. I'm, I'm, I'm on alert. You have to wait Let's till the go. song is finished. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, you do. You can't. No, okay. It comes on okay. and saying Bo knows this, and then you saying Bo knows this, and Bo knows. Like you gotta wait. <laughs> Cheater. Have you seen that new game where they playing by the pool and like, and like they put people in the chair and yeah, similar game. So they wrap it yeah. during it, and when they cut it off. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Cut it out, Spice. Your own rules, All right. Man, huh? Here we go. Here we go. Here's the third song. It's Feenin. Hi, Joe. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's my fault. With, with, I looked at with my a list diamond wrong. in the back. Can we hold on? Can we do that again? That's my fault. I looked at my list wrong. Got a Superman band that I scored from Shaq. With the old school candy and the diamond in the, the back. With the old school candy and the diamond in the back. That's true. With the old school candy and the diamond in the back. That is true. Gator boots with the pimped out Gucci suits with them Gucci suits. Shaq, cut it out. We both said the same thing. No, we didn't. You guys did kind of tie on it. I okay, just screwed right. that up because I was thinking of the wrong song. I was All looking right, at so. number four and it was number three. 
So the score is three to one. All right, let's go. There we go. Okay, the next song is Fiendin' by Jodeci. Take my money. My house my of house my, my car. car. So one hit up of so you. So one hit up. You can have it all. Because <laughs> making love is what I want to do. My house and my, my house car. car. Got that one, Shaquille. Spice got that one. Spice was first on that one. I'm sorry. Right. Spice was okay. first on that one. Right. <laughs> Spice was first on that one. Okay. The next song, Nipsey Hustle, Grinding All My Life. Here we go. All my life, grinding all my life. Sacrifice. Hustle paid the hustle price. Paid the price. Finish the lyric. Grinding all my life. I've been grinding all my life. <laughs> The sucker pie, but the pound all my life. Hustle pay the price. <laughs> Come on, y'all know this one. Sucker price. I just said it. No, that's wrong. Sucker, sacrifice, grind all my life. Hustle pay the price. Want a slice? Gotta roll the dice. dice. That's what. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Grind it all, all my life. Sacrifice. Hustle pay the price. Want a slice? Got the roll the dice. All my life. I've been grinding all my life. Neither one of y'all got. I thought y'all would get Nipsey Hustle. Good. Neither one of y'all got that one. I thought I that would be it. an easy one for you. Okay. Next one. Bob Marley. Is this love? I wanna love you and treat you right. I want to love you and steal the night. <laughs> no, close. What did he Spice, say? We have a guess. You, I you have a guess? I want to love, you, right. Right. love you, you right. and treat you right. That's what I said. No, that's the first part. I want to love you every day and every night. Y'all suck. And treat you right. 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 I wanna love you and do every your life. Every every night. Night. We'll be together. Okay, we'll next be song. Children's story. Rick the Ruler. Ran up the stairs up to the top floor. Open up a door there. Guess who we saw? Who? They ain't the main thing, so they don't really don't know the meaning of what to us, so. They ain't the main thing, so they don't really don't know the meaning of what to us, so. Spice got that one because she killed you, didn't know all the words. You didn't know the words. He ran outside and his cops all over, and if it didn't work hard, I stole it over. Yeah. You Dave didn't know the, the word. You got the first three dope, words. Who don't know the okay, say, of say it for me. Soap. Say it. Dave the dope fiend shooting dope who don't know the meaning of what to know soap. She said you bullet. You didn't say Hurry that up, though. Run. Yes, I did. That's what I said. <laughs> oh my God, a spanking shotgun. It <laughs> went outside. It was cops all over. 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 Ran up the block right. here at university. <laughs> that was Spice. Okay, next song is... Mr. Brightside, white guy classic. But it's just a That's Mr. Brightside. There we go, Shaquille. Your <laughs> that is that just a price I pay. Destiny is calling me. back in Missouri right now. Because I'm Mr. Brightside. Next song. This is Advantage Shaquille, but I think you can get this spicy. The song is I'm Outstanding. Now let's skip to the time when I was 15. Shackers in the house, no shackers on the scene. He don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm catching paper, sticking to the paper, start to back to the paper. Now I'm skipping to the time when I'm 50, checking the hands out, checking the seat. Now I'm at the paper, now I'm catching paper, still stick up to me like a skyscraper. 
<laughs> you didn't get it, Shaquille. I can't I did, give that just to you. It. You were all flipped around. <laughs> I can't give that to you. Girls catching papers. Kids pick up to me like it was bars, wasn't it, Spice? Now I'm making like paper. Girls catching papers. Kids look up to me like a skyscraper. Now my name is in papers. Girls caught the vapors. Kids look up like I'm a skyscraper. That's okay, what damn, I'm bars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. It, the score is four to three, Shaquille. We've got one more and a bonus. Got it. So, Spice, you got to get this one to tie it up. All right, all right. All right, this one is Around the Way, girl. She can walk with a switch and talk with street slang. A woman like that ain't scared to do a thing. Standing at the bus stop, yeah. giving her a lifetime. That's okay. not the lyric. There we go. I love it when a woman ain't scared to ain't do a thing. thing. That ain't what I said. I love it when no. a woman ain't scared nope. to do her thing. Spice, nope. you That's what I said. No, nope, you didn't. didn't. Yes. <laughs> no, you what did I say? You said, and ain't scared to do a thing. That's what you said. <laughs> 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 That's what you said. <laughs> Listen, it, look, Shaquille, you're winning this four to three. We're at the bonus. You can call it. We can do the bonus. Yeah, we, we can put it. all we, the points up. The bonus, the bonus yeah. is worth three. The bonus is worth three. Right, deal. Right, deal. The bonus it. is Let's worth three. This Let's is Fushnikin's Lash Move. When I was small, they used to tease me because my hair was teasy, hard and greasy. But now I'm growing up like Georgia Weezy. So easy. What does it yeah. look easy? <laughs> does it? But that's not the li- that's not the lyric though. That is. I wrote the song. It is. Stop I'm it. living well like Georgia Weezy. That's what I just said. I live well like you Georgia Weezy. I'm growing Weezy. up so like Georgia Weezy. What? Easy what? Yes, I, I wrote it. What do you mean? Nice. I wrote the song. We <laughs> ain't got nothing to prove. That's my beat. Seven to three. Um, oh, undefeated. Shaquille, uh, Spice, I just knew you were coming on this one. I knew you were going to get this one. I kill knew me with it. the Garth Brooks, man, and, and, and all these. You, you killed me, man. Y'all killed me. I killed the you. And the, and, the, and, the, and the bright side, all this stuff. As much as you know, as much as you know music, Spicy, I thought you were going to murder this one as much as you know music. But Next you time. Didn't. You got to come time. back. Shaquille's winning three to nothing. This is crazy. I don't, I don't know about the three to nothing. It's an asterisk next to that. This was fun today, guys. We had a really good time. We will see you next week on the big podcast with Shaquille O'Neal. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe wherever you get your podcast and check us out on the NBA on TNT's YouTube page because we there. We out there. Bye. Bye.